Today I'm going to make 10 most popular cocktails in the world. And this is Dr. Cork. There are many rankings of the most popular cocktails and they vary greatly from one to the other. They can go so far as to say that a cocktail ranks one of the first places in one ranking and is totally absent in another. It also doesn't help that there are a great many methods of making this ranking. I analyzed several lists of popular cocktails from Liquor.com, Difford's Guide, BBC Good Food, Wine Pear and a couple others, put them together and got what I think is my most objective cocktail ranking. Although, of course, you may not find the cocktail you think is very popular in this list, because there are only 10 places. So let's begin. In the 10th place, it's Dry Martini. One of the oldest and most popular cocktails invented in the 19th century, but its recipe changed a bit since then. The early recipes called for sweet Italian vermouth, so the cocktail was sweeter overall. As everybody should know by this point from James Bond, the cocktail can be shaken or stirred. I'm gonna stir it today, because I like it better. Also, it's not the smartest idea to shake vermouth, as it loses its brightness of taste. The first thing we need to do is to make our stirring glass cold. So let's add ice to it. You can definitely just put your stirring glass to the freezer, but this method also works. Get rid of the water. And now it's time to make the cocktail. Dry gin, two and a half ounce, 75 ml. Dry vermouth, half an ounce, 15 ml. And also I like to add orange bitters, one dash. Now stir it carefully. Add more ice if needed. The idea is to mix, dilute and lower the temperature of the cocktail. And then we strain the cocktail to the frozen cocktail glass. A little bit of lemon peel for garnish. Also you can add an olive, but why? And here it is, dry martini. Oh, very strong, but I guess it's nicer than to drink straight gin. Number nine, Manhattan. The Manhattan was invented in New York City's Manhattan Club around 1880, and it has become one of the most popular cocktails in the world ever since. Only three ingredients, bourbon or rye whiskey if you like spicy edgier profile, sweet vermouth and bitters. And this cocktail is also stirred. As you can see, this time I pre-chilled my mixing glass. Let's make us some Manhattan. Rye whiskey, you can definitely use bourbon. Two ounces, 60 ml. Sweet vermouth, one ounce, 30 ml. And a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Stir it gently. Add more ice if needed. Then we take a chilled cocktail glass and strain the cocktail. And garnish with a maraschino cherry. And here it is, the Manhattan. Mm, great cocktail. I like it much better than Martini. It's richer and more complex. But also very strong, so be careful. Number eight, daiquiri. The granddaddy of rum cocktails, the daiquiri, was supposedly invented in 1898 in the Cuban mining town Daiquiri by an American mining engineer Jennings Cox. I've made an entire video about daiquiri. If you want, you can check it out. Let's make daiquiri. The cocktail is shaken. We're gonna need white rum, two ounces, 60 ml, lime juice, one ounce, 30 ml, and simple syrup, three quarters of an ounce, 22 ml, ice, and shake it vigorously. I dedicate this shake to this comment. Fine strain to the chilled cocktail glass and garnish with a lime twist. Mm, bright, fresh, sweet and sour cocktail for any weather. You can enjoy it during a hot summer evening or in the winter. Anytime, any place. Number seven, piña colada. I have a whole video about it, so you can check it out. And now I'm just gonna make it. The cocktail is either blended or shaken. First thing we're gonna need is light rum. Two ounces, 60 ml. Cream of coconut, not coconut cream. It is essentially coconut milk with sugar. I have a video about it as well. One and a half ounce, 45 ml. Pineapple juice, freshly squeezed or bottled. One and a half ounce, 45 ml. Lime juice, freshly squeezed. Half an ounce, 15 ml. Fill the shaker with ice. 
and shake it vigorously. This shake is dedicated to this comment. Fill the sling or highball glass with ice and fine strain the cocktail. Garnish with a couple pineapple leaves. And here it is, piña colada. Mm. Ah, great cocktail. Of course, it is a summer cocktail, so if it's hot outside, it can be cool inside. Number six, Negroni. I have a video about Negroni and how it came to be. You can check it out. The links are in the description. And now let's just make it. Chilled old-fashioned glass. And we're gonna add equal parts of gin. One ounce, 30 milliliters. Purists say that uh, you should add more gin than all the other ingredients because gins were much stronger at the time when this cocktail was invented. But I think this cocktail is strong enough as is. Red sweet vermouth, one ounce, and Campari. One ounce, 30 ml. Check for balance. Perfect. A nice big chunk of ice and stir it to chill and dilute. Garnish with a fresh orange peel. And here it is, the Negroni. Mm. Great cocktail. I love it. I like the Americano better because it's not as strong. Actually, this is the variation on the Americano where they replaced sparkling water with gin. If you like bitter cocktails, this one is definitely for you. Number five. Porn star martini. Forget the martini part, it doesn't remotely resemble the classic martini. As for the porn star part, its creator, bartender Douglas Ankara, thought that it was what a porn star would order. The cocktail is shaken, to which we're gonna add vanilla vodka, one and a half ounce, 45 ml, passion fruit liqueur, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, passion fruit puree, one ounce, about a half of a big passion fruit. You can definitely use frozen passion fruit puree. Lime juice, half an ounce, 15 ml. Vanilla simple syrup, half an ounce, 15 ml. And shake it vigorously. I dedicate the shake to this comment. Fine strain to the chilled cocktail glass and add some sparkling wine and garnish with a half cup passion fruit. The idea is you drink a little bit of cocktail and you down it with sparkling wine. Mm, that's a great combo. Of course you can add everything to the same glass and drink it like that, but that's not the original way. Number four, espresso martini. Another martini that has nothing to do with the original dry martini, created by British bartender Dick Bratzel at Fred's Club in London. Legend has it that a top model asked for a drink that would make me up and f me up. Bratzel mixed vodka, espresso and coffee liqueur and the espresso martini was born. The cocktail is shaken and we're gonna need vodka, 2 ounces, 60 ml, coffee liqueur, Half an ounce, 15 ml, freshly brewed espresso or cold brew concentrate, one ounce, 30 ml, and simple syrup, half an ounce, 15 ml, ice, and shake it vigorously. I dedicate this shake to this comment. Fine strain to the chilled cocktail glass, and garnish with three coffee beans. Mm, great cocktail. You can substitute vodka with rum or even bourbon and it becomes even better. But the original is great as it is. Number three, mojito. One of the most popular rum cocktails in the world. The origins of this cocktail go back to Cuba and the 16th century cocktail El Drac, named for Sir Francis Drake, the English sea captain and explorer who visited Havana in 1586. El Drac was composed of aguardiente, a cane spirit kinda like rum, its precursor, lime, mint and sugar. Eventually rum replaced aguardiente and the name was changed to the mojito. So let's make mojito. We're gonna need some mint, simple syrup, half an ounce, 15 ml, 
muddle mint leaves in the syrup, but not too much. Now we add white rum, 2 ounces 60 ml and lime juice, 3 quarters of an ounce 22 ml. Fill the glass with crushed ice and top up with club soda. Garnish with a lime wheel and a mint sprig. And here it is, the mojito. A great refreshing cocktail for summer, it's a shame it's coming to an end, but let's hope it's not the last summer in our lives. Number 2. Old Fashioned. The now called Old Fashioned was simply called cocktail when it was invented around 1806. Any cocktail at that time called for spirits, sugar, water and bitters. And the Old Fashioned hits all those marks with whiskey, sugar, water, aromatic bitters. It is pretty simple, let me show you how to make it. To the appropriately called Old Fashioned glass we add 1 teaspoon of sugar, a couple dishes of Angostura bitters and a teaspoon of water. I prefer sparkling water, but you can use still water. Mix it well to melt the sugar. Add a big chunk of ice, in my case ice ball, and pour 2 ounces of bourbon or rye whiskey right onto the ice. 2 ounces, 60 ml. Stir the cocktail, take a fresh orange peel and garnish the cocktail. And here it is, the old fashioned. Mm, great cocktail. You can absolutely make it on another spirit like rum or tequila, I've made with tequila. The old fashioned is more like a type of cocktail than the exact recipe. But the bourbon old fashioned is of course the classic. And number one, margarita. Some say the cocktail was invented in 1948 in Acapulco, Mexico. Others say that margarita, which translates to daisy flower in Spanish, was an inevitable twist on the daisy, a type of cocktail involving spirit, citrus, orange liqueur and soda. Make one with tequila, leave out the soda and there you get margarita. The first thing we're gonna do is rim the glass with salt. It's an optional step, but it's the traditional way. And now the cocktail. Don't look at me and use the 100% blue agave stuff. Orange liqueur, half an ounce, 15 ml. Freshly squeezed lime juice, 1 ounce, 30 ml. Agave syrup, half an ounce, 15 ml. Ice. And shake it vigorously. I dedicate the shake to this comment. Take our rimmed glass and fine strain the cocktail. Garnish with a lime wheel and here it is, margarita. <sighs> I'm not surprised this is a winner of today's top 10. The agave syrup brings out the tequila flavor and makes the whole drink more special. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, hit like and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of shorts with cocktail recipes, check them out. All the recipes are on my website dr-cork.com, the link is down below. What cocktails did I miss? I have a TikTok and Instagram account, check them out, all the links are in the description. Thanks a lot and as always, до свидос!